All right, guys, so now that we've created our digital notebook, we've created our notes and then shared that to our presentation, uh, it's ready to go for our students. I wanted to go ahead and show you what it looked like as far as um, how students are going to see it and how easy it is for them to access it. You'll see that I am in my student account. Uh, you saw that in my Google Classroom earlier. So now I am just going to go ahead and check it out as a student. I'm going to do that by going to my teacher's Google Classroom. I know that my teacher keeps things organized. So I know that my notebook is here and there's my lesson that I need to access. So first I'm going to pull up my notebook. This is mine. I can't see any other students. It's only my copy. My teacher can access it, but this one is just for me. And I'm going to annotate that with Cami. So you'll see that this is me as my student, I'm logged in, and then that's my teacher who can view it and mark up on it as well. There's that blank page that my teacher went ahead and created for me. So now that I have that, I'm ready for my presentation. I'm gonna do that by clicking on the lesson that my teacher has for me. I wanna view that assignment and I can go ahead and pull that up. It looks like they did it as a Google slide. Now, you can teach your students this part however you want. Uh, I was able to show my students how simple it is to like kind of drag windows to the side to snap them side by side. You can do it on a Chromebook. You can do it on a PC. Uh, my students learn, hey, we're just going to go ahead and grab that tab and put it over to the side. This can allow us to snap windows. So they had their notebook here, and my students learn that their notes or their presentation is going to be here. Okay, so as the teacher, we created that as a direct link for students to download. Students see the presentation and they have their notebook. They're going to go ahead and click on that link to download it. On a Chromebook, a lot of the files are gonna show up over here, but on a PC, it's gonna show up usually in your, your bottom part. It's gonna act the same way though. Student is now going to be able to drag that into their notebook. Let me zoom out so I can see that whole thing. And now they have a copy of those notes that you created so that they can begin filling it in however they best see. So fill in the blanks. And a student's gonna have access to those notes. Now, one thing I did notice, uh, especially with my students using the keyboard more often, is that in order to kind of fill text boxes, it's not going to go directly over the image. They kind of had to click somewhere random, and then they can drag that however they needed to. However, using the drawing tool, or especially even like the highlighter, um, the box or text highlighter, if they used the stylus, that was an easy way for them to access and kind of draw on top of the image. So there you have it. That's what a student's going to look like. Like I've mentioned before, reach out if you have any questions um, or anything that I can help out with. I plan to make more videos in the future for you guys uh, on other cool tips and tricks to use using Cami.